Hi there. Happy Monday. No. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> um, I was hoping to have been out on the decking. Uh, I wanted to show my decking off. My son's been in clean detail and it's absolutely lovely out there. But I went outside and it was so windy. I thought, no, nobody's going to be able to hear me speaking. So I came indoors. Besides which I had to put me... <sighs> me uh, poncho thing on because I was so cold. Right, anyway, it's Hi from Jan Urban Gypsy Crochet. One half of, woo, let me move my foot. Thanks your crafty lasses, stroke shop. Um, I haven't put anything new on, but Kelly's still beavering away there. I've made loads of things, I just haven't put anything on because I can't get to the post office. But they are talking about easing the lockdown. Although they're talking about not easing the lockdown for the over 70s. So, hmm, perhaps I can nip out and lie about my age. <laughs> anyway, I'm wearing a top that um, Carla sent me the yarn from. I'm sure yours in America will be able to recognise the yarn. It's just a top that I made myself and I you know what I'm like I'm always making things up I do make things up better than I actually follow a pattern anyway what I was going to wear but it's still damp is uh, I finished off the bolero do you know this I'm, I'm hopeless with this tripod finished off the bolero you can see it all it's blocking out now it's still a bit damp so I can't put it on at the moment it was made with some yarn I got from Kimberly and it was the Carnival Tweed Chunky by Starcraft and it is called Gala or Gala whichever you pronounce it would I say Gala I had about uh, just about a yard left <laughs> That's all I had out of four balls. I was hoping to put a longer sleeve on it, you know, but it wasn't to be, was it? So, luckily I've got a wearable gown. That's the pattern I used, by the way, which I'm sure is still available. It's James C. Brett, JB361. There we go. That's the one I used. As you can see, it worked up fairly quickly. Right, what am I up to at the moment? Well, oops, got my hook stuck. <laughs> Kim also gave me some um, Signet Utopia, which is very, very pretty. And if you noticed on one of my other videos, I had actually chosen a pattern. But then I decided it was too busy. You know, the pattern and the wool was just altogether too busy. So I'm going to use the pattern again, but I'm going to use it with a plain yarn. Anyway, I've just, my own thing, no pattern, just started my own thing. And uh, that's the back, what I'm making now. It's going to be like a shorty cardigan. So I'm just doing two rows of, well, if you're American, four rows, sorry. If you're American, there'll be double crochets. If you're English, there'll be trebles. And um, this is like the filet stitch, if you know what I'm saying. It's like one treble, one chain to me, one double crochet, one chain to you. And then you go in the opposite way. There's no pattern for it. I just, off the top of the head, just decided to design it. Anyway, 100 grams almost made it to the top. <laughs> I had, what, a third of a row to do? And I had to join a new one in. I do prefer knots. I don't like Russian joins. I don't like, I don't trust them. I don't like, you know, doing all this fancy pokery stuff and all that. No, I just tie a knot. Then I've got something solid to dial in. You know, I like something that's secure. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm making now. So, I haven't been on earlier because I haven't even been on uh, Facebook early because my son's been here. And when he cleaned the decking, we were having a chit chat because we haven't really, well, we 
spoke on the phone, that's wrong. We do chit chat, but having somebody face to face, it's a lot better, isn't it? It's a lot much uh, more exciting. We've got something in my eye now. When you've got somebody actually there. So we did our social distancing, if you know what I mean. Um, we had opposite ends of the, the decking. Well, when he was cleaning the decking, I was staying out of the way because it was spraying water everywhere. But we did our social distancing, you know, having our coffee at opposite ends of the, of the decking. Um, I will show you the decking another time because it's looking really nice. And uh, we decided that... Um, he said I had too much furniture on the decking. So I've decided, or he's decided, and we both decided, that it's a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny spot right at the very, very bottom of my garden. It's a bit more tricky for me to get down to the bottom of the garden because I've got some steps that are a bit dodgy. Um, but my ex-husband used to always put like a, a wooden bench at the bottom of the garden where the sun is later in the day. And so I've well, we've decided that it would be better to put the, you know, the sofa and the two chairs that haven't been made up yet, the patio set, whatever you want to call it, put it down the bottom of the garden. So that's what's going to happen. My son didn't bring any tools with him, otherwise he would have put it together for me tonight, today. But he is going to come back because he needs to put, um, to sort out the light on the garage. I've got a security light on the garage that's I've had a new book, you know, a new light fitting for ages, but he's just never had the time. <laughs> so, anyway, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm getting so excited because Amazon are delivering me a new lightweight vacuum cleaner. You're talking about me, the non-domestic goddess? But I'm getting quite excited. <laughs> My original vacuum is as old as the hills. It's a beautiful vac. It picks up everything. It's fantastic, but it's heavy. And I can't lift it anymore. It's doing my backing. I did buy a lightweight one before, but it just doesn't work on the carpet. It picks up things sort of, but when you've got a dog around, it doesn't, doesn't do good. So I decided to take the plunge. They were offering interest-free credit because, you know, I didn't have the money for the vac, but that's another matter. So they were doing interest-free vac, uh, interest-free credit on a, on a vac on Amazon. So, and guess what? It's purple. <laughs> my favourite colour. If I've got to do housework, I might as well have my favourite colour. <laughs> anyway, it's one of those that takes a part and you can use it on the stairs. So my stairs will have a cleaning. They've not been cleaned for whenever. Uh, I think the last time somebody hoovered them was... Uh, I think my niece was the last one that hoovered them. Or it could have been Kelly. Because I just couldn't, you know, my vacuum was just too heavy. So I'm hoping when this arrives it's going to work miracles. Yes. Be able to carry it upstairs without breaking my back. I cannot believe this is me. You're talking to a completely different Jan. <laughs> this is me. And I'm actually thinking about dusting and washing all the glassware. I inherited some beautiful crystal um, from my mum when my mum passed away. Um, the crystal, like champagne flutes, I think they are off. Well, the flutes anyway. And they've got like, um, a, well, it's not real silver, but you know, silver coated bases. And the bases go all uh, dull. You obviously have to rub them up to make them shiny. And the crystal needs a wash to make it sparkle. Still got something in my eye. So I'm, I'm actually contemplating <laughs> dusting all the unit off and washing all my mum's glassware. Because that comes with a decanter as well. Oh, very posh. Not that I drink anything in a decanter. It's never been used as a decanter. It's only decorative. But it looks so much nicer when you can look at it and all the glassware sparkles, you know, in the sunshine. But at the moment it's very dull because it's a bit dusty. Don't tell anybody. But it's very dusty. So I'm actually, you know, thinking about, I don't know whether it's Kelly's doing a clearing out at home. I don't know whether it's rubbing off on me or what, but, you know, everybody seems to be doing like um, 
the spring cleaning. And then of course my son's been and cleared the decking and that. So I'm actually beginning to think, hmm, I need to start in here. Um, as I think I mentioned on one of my other videos that a friend of mine down the bottom when it's all this Covid stuff's over, she's going to help me turn the garage into like a studio. So I've got that to look forward to. And my son's actually going to come and take some stuff that he's got in the garage uh, from before, some wood he was storing in the garage. And um, it's too good, really. It's really good wood. It's hard wood. So it's too good to just throw away or give away. So he's decided he wants it. And then there's also some tiles that came off the roof. Uh, when I had my front of my house redone, I didn't have tiles put between the two bay windows. I had this new white plasticky, well, not plasticky, PVC stuff put there instead of the tiles. So we've got all those tiles there, which are perfectly good tiles, yeah. So I'm going to be doing well. And then the girl down the, as I said, the one who's going to help me with the garage, her ex-partner's going to come and clear the shed out. Because it's full of, I tell you, got old garden stuff that doesn't work anymore. So, getting quite sort of enthusiastic. Although I must confess at the moment, all I want to do is just sit and crochet. I've got that bug on me. I either go off it all together, because lots of people have got like, lost the crow Joe and stuff. Uh, I mean, Kim that gave me the yarn and that, she was saying yesterday, was it yesterday or today? Yesterday, that she seems to have lost her crow Joe at the moment. She's just gone off doing things. I think we all do that. I've had, I know Kelly does. Kelly goes off it for a couple of weeks. And I do too. And then all of a sudden it just sort of something stirs your imagination and you think, ooh, I'll start that. That's the only time really that I usually start more than one project. Because if I'm doing something and it's really not inspiring me, I think to myself, no, it's just killing your love of crochet. You're just not enjoying this at all. And... Um, I'll stop and I'll go on to something different. And then I usually go back and finish off the first thing once I've recovered my, my sense of crochet. <laughs> of course, if it doesn't inspire me at all, once I've, you know, gone back to my crochet, it has to come back, it has to be unraveled. Yeah. Um, but I'm very good. I'm not one of these people who has, like, dozens of bags when they open them up and say, oh, this is this, this is that, this is the other. If that's the way they cope, that's fine. But that would drive me bonkers. My brain only commutes like with, computes I should say, with one or two things maximum. Yeah. Um, I just cannot, can't concentrate at all if I've got too many things on the go. I'm very monogamous like when I started. I mean I started this I think it was yesterday I started this and I'm really I don't know why I can crochet so much faster when I'm not using a pattern when I'm doing you know it my out of my head and that, I can just pull on with it it's when I have to keep stopping and reading the pattern and going huh? what do they mean by that I don't understand that bit because I find a lot of modern patterns are too complicated for me. Absolutely. They tell me too much information. And as I'm getting older, my brain doesn't take it in the same. I mean, at one time I used to pride myself there's no pattern that will defeat me. I think in all my years of crochet, I think there was one or two patterns that utterly defeated me, that I had to give up on. And I've never been able to fathom since, yeah. But most of them, um, I'll stick at it and stick at it until I think, yeah, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. But now, if it doesn't make sense to me, I think, well, I like the stitch, I like the design, so therefore, I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> so I might, this, I mean, I did follow this pattern, this, this one, where were we, this one. I followed this one from A to B, or A to Z 
should say. So this one I didn't do anything. The other thing I wanted to make sure about was to get me bubbles lined up. I'm panickety about little things like that. I like my buttons to be perfectly balanced, you know, lined up. I have to have the same number of stitches between each button, you know. I can't do with them when there's like a button there and a big gap and another button there. And it, oh, it drives me bananas. And another thing that drives me bananas is when somebody's sewing this up, if they don't perfectly match up that at the front, you know, with the fronts to the back, if they don't match it up perfectly. <gasps> I feel like screaming. Or when they're doing the two fronts and they're sewing them together and it's striped. And it's like that when they put the buttons on it. And I'm like, no, straighten it up, straighten it up. I have to sort of, you know, I'm like having conversations with the video. Saying, you've made such a lovely job of it. Why have you made a mess of it by sewing your buttons like that? Oh, ooh, drives me potty. And it's like, you know, some people when they've, done two rows extra of a colour and you know they're going oh well, it won't really matter and I'm going yeah, it does it does you're throwing the other front off you put two rows extra on your left front and you don't put two rows extra on your right front and you don't put two rows extra on the back you're throwing it all off I'm just a perfectionist when it comes to things like that yeah I'm not a perfectionist with little things like me side seems a little bit wonky on here I don't think I was concentrated on, you know, getting the last stitches in, but it goes in the seam, so that won't really matter, will it? Yeah. So I've not really got a lot to say. I mean, Kim's always saying to me, you're making a video today. And I'm like, well, I've got nothing to say. I just, my life is so dull. You know, when you watch these people who are doing like these Vaders and stuff, well, it's coming to me now, isn't it? but you know what I mean? These videos every day when they've got something to say. But I mean, mostly they've got families and there's interesting things going on in their life. Whereas for me, it's like, get up, have a shower, get your breakfast, wash the dishes, potter around, see if there's any post. <laughs> see if there's anybody on uh, Facebook that I can chat to, read my emails. Watch a bit of TV. That's my day. Sometimes I break it up by being able to go on the decking. It's nice sunny weather. You know, it's... But it's not exactly what you call enthralling things for me to tell you every day, is it? You don't want to hear me say the same things. Got up, had a shower. No, you don't want to know, do you? I just wish I had a more exciting life so I could tell you wonderful wonderful things yeah so at the moment it's just a very short video really just keeping up with you um i will attempt to model it when it's dry but it's still wet i couldn't put it out to dry you see on the decking when my son was here because obviously he took everything off the top decking and put it on the lawn while he jet washed the deck jet washed the wood um I did want to get it painted, but I don't know whether that will ever happen. I'd like it staining or painting, you know, to help it against the weather. But, you know, my son said it would last for years and years without, you know, going sort of rotten or anything like that, because they used hardwood, they didn't use, like, rubbish, you know. Um, so, I'll just have to hope, but I would have liked it, you know, painting a nice colour. So... Maybe now, I can actually make some flowers. Maybe now. <laughs> well, the third thing I need to do is actually get some more lights. I've got solar panel lights on um, that I need to replace because they're not actually working. So my son's coming back to put the furniture together whenever he manages to do that. So I think I'll leave the flowers until he's been and gone. <laughs> Because he's talking about get, me getting some, um, you know, like, what do you call them, window boxes that I've put on the, um, on the decking. I'm going to put some plants in. So, but I'm still going to use my flowers. They're still going to go on my deck. 
I think they don't go on the on the decking bit there. I've got a, a, a wall bit there, that side there, that would look lovely with flowers on it and lights, yeah. Oh, it's going to look nice when I've finished. <laughs> but like everything else, it takes a while. Because my back's not hurting much today, but it probably will once the vacuum cleaner arrives. But I'm so excited, a purple vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and I did cover the doll's house up, by the way, when my son came. Covered it up with a shawl so he never saw it. I had enough of a lecture about having the cluttering on my decking, so I didn't want another lecture about the doll's house. So, <laughs> there are certain things I don't tell my son. And I know he doesn't watch my video, so I'm quite safe about that. So anyway, I'm going to go back and uh, maybe turn the TV on, see if there's anything to watch. Although I'm not really into these afternoon smog... What do my son used to call them? Not smulchy movies. He used to call them a certain name when he was here, and his daughter-in-law used to watch them. He had a name for them, something movies, but I'm not going to watch one of them, I'm not in the mood for. I know it's nice to watch movies with happy, happy endings all the time, but it's a bit, if you ever read Mills and Boone's books, they're the kind of books I take with me on holiday, you know, when I'm on the beach and you're not concentrating, I like to uh, read these romances where you know boy meets girl this all ends up happily and this girl always meets this you know handsome prince or this Italian count who owns a great big fancy house and takes plucks her out of misery you know makes her life wonderful it's the kind of thing I like to read on my holidays but since I haven't been away I haven't been reading them lately I was still plowing my way through uh, Gerald Durrell you know the Durrells uh, I think what spoiled it for me was I watched it on the TV, so that meant I kind of didn't really want to finish reading the book. And uh, I'm still doing that sandy, what's big as she calls, like 39 bus stops or something. Still reading it. I'm not much of a reader. I need to find these audible, audible, audio books. Um, you know, and, and listen to those, really. That's what I need to do. And get some more book reading in, in my life rather than watching some trash TV or something. Um, I do try to watch YouTubes on my TV, but it annoys me. I'll pick somebody, I think, right, they've got about six YouTubes that I haven't watched. So I put one of them on, and then it might go to another one of that person. And then it goes to somebody completely different, somebody who's planting a garden. And you're thinking, I, no, I didn't want that. I just want to see more of the person I was watching. You know, and that, I haven't fathomed that bit out. I am not technically minded, so I know there's probably an easy way to do it. I've tried going onto that person, and it's showing me all the videos that they do. But if you click onto the first video, you're watching them all backwards. You're going from the earliest to the latest, whereas I want to go from the, not the latest, the oldest. I want to go from the oldest to the newest. And my TV doesn't like me to do that. It likes me to start with the newest and go to the oldest. And if you're watching somebody making something, it's like destructuring something, isn't it? You watch the finished article and then you watch your crochet in it as you go along. <laughs> So that's why I'd rather watch it on my PC, but um, the chair isn't as comfortable. I'd just rather watch it on my recliner and do my crochet. So, so that's why I'm behind with everybody's videos. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Right, I'm going to go now and start doing one of the fronts of the cardigan. And I'll probably put this... this back outside again in the sun. There's still a bit of sun even though it's windy to let it dry out properly and then maybe I'll model it when it's dried. <laughs> Who knows? So bye for now. Enjoy your crafting and I'll show you my vacuum <laughs> when it arrives. <laughs>